Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sarah Pavin, an Olympian and beach volleyball world champion and a longtime professional indoor player. Hi everyone, I'm Adam, Sarah's husband, past indoor professional coach and current beach coach. I figured I needed an actual intro this time after I cut shade from the last one. Oh my, I was just gonna say somebody has been preparing. <laughs> That was your best intro yet. All right. But he Moving forgot. In the right <laughs> he forgot to say that he was a player too. Oh, nobody cares. I care. I'm honestly shocked. We could pack up shop right now, and I'd be happy because he Tr didn't make it seem like I like forced him here at gunpoint this time. So that's Just, great. You gotta try to be one percent better every day. That's the coach in me. Anyways. <laughs> Last episode, we met Tsukushima and Yamaguchi. We had the little bit of the showdown between Kageyama and Tsukushima when um, Kageyama and Hinata were practicing late at night. I am doing this, you know, to remind you guys of where we're at, but mostly to remind Adam of where we're at. No, I know where we're at. If it's you just rewind the like the twenty, names. if you rewind twenty seconds, you will see his brain cells working overtime trying to remember what I'm saying here. I'm good. I'm good with the plot. <laughs> not so good with the names. That's what I was paying attention to. So we met the tall blonde guy. The middle. We don't know he's in the middle. We don't but know, but Adam assumption. thinks he's in the middle. Yeah. Adam was a big fan, and that shocked me. I'm like two for two on shocking you with characters I like slash dislike. It's true. We also got to see a little bit of Suga's mentorship and his sweet nature towards Hinata. We found out that Suga is the setter of Karasuno. Um, so yeah, today I think we are getting ready to see the three on three match. Can we get some thoughts, some feelings, perhaps some predictions? Uh, I hate doing predictions with no information. But, but it hasn't stopped him yet in the first three episodes. <laughs> but here it goes. I feel like if we look at what we know, I'm going to say a setter and a left side, albeit inexperienced, with a senior who's another setter, is a pretty good three on three team versus a middle. Whoa, 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 whoa. A setter? Yeah, and a left side. Uh, okay, who are you referring to? Kageyama? Hey, Hinata. Hinata. Tanaka is not the setter. Oh, my bad. Which position is he? Tanaka's play? left side. Oh, perfect. That's even better. Okay. Versus a middle, and I don't know what the other guy played. We don't know yet. Libero, maybe? He looks small. We don't know what Yamaguchi plays yet, and we don't know who their teammate is. Yeah, but I'm going to say, I'm going to go out on a limb and say left side, left side, setter is a pretty good three on three combo. Um, the only question mark would be if Hinata can pass or not. But, I mean, that being said, you could try and hide them. There's there's ways around one that. One man serve receive, everybody. No, like three quarters and one quarter. Like you, you could make it easy on him. But he's been out practicing. So, I feel like two things. I feel like they're going to win. Um, it probably should be close. We'll see. Depends who their senior teammate is. Okay. More importantly, and I've been, I've been thinking about this a bit today, is... Are, are Hinata and um, uh, Kageyama. Kageyama gonna have like one of those team building moments or like friendship building moments? Okay. Where, you know, we saw last time he actually set him the ball, right? Is it, <gasps> is it gonna be How my question? How could we forget? Right, but my question is like, was that a one-off and now they're gonna go back to butting heads or was like, was that the beginning of something beautiful? So we'll see, we'll see. <laughs> okay, and I can't believe we didn't mention it sooner. We got the first goose bump induced by Adam last Fair. episode and maybe Fair. a little sparkle in his eye. Um, We're not, I'm not going that far yet. We've still got a long way to go. Okay, so you heard it here, Adam's predictions of how the three on three match is gonna go. Let's see if he's right. So today we are watching season one, episode four of Haikyuu called The View from the Summit and it's coming right now. I like that analogy. 
I only, I was only made it through the first part. You know what? We <sighs> let's just go back to that real quick. Let's let Adam soak that in. From Bernardo. Okay, thank you. I knew something was missing here. I'm like, this guy is like so calm. <laughs> well, I only, I only had time to read the first. The top first half. line. Um, I mean. A, I love the quote without knowing who it came from, and B, I spent a year while you were playing in Brazil, like two years, Adam. We were there for two you years. Didn't finish the second year I was with the men's team. I was not as many of your practices, but when Sarah was in Brazil playing, I would go to her practice every day. And Bernardo is the nicest human being on the face of the planet, and I would. Walk into practice, I would stand beside him for like 10 or 15 minutes while the girls were warming up, and I would just ask him volleyball questions. And he always took the time to speak to me, to answer my questions, to give me things to think about. He let me help out. I learned so much from being around him. Um, it, was an, it was an incredible experience. Okay, glad we rewound there because his reaction was not what it needed to be. Here we go. Love Bernardo, shout out, he's the best. They already know, because I told them last yeah, time. Yeah, I figured. I prefer you. Someone's having a nightmare. Do you, remember, do you remember the question? <laughs> Why was he nicknamed the king? Yes. I mean, it kind of answers the question. You see his teammates throwing him under the bus, obviously because of how he treated him. But I'm, is that teammate given to him, was that nickname given to him by his teammates or by other people? Still uncertain. <laughs> よし、じゃあ始めるぞ。月島たちの方にはこれが入るから。ノアスタイチ。ああ。うん。小さいのと田中さん、どっち先に継ぐ。お伝えましょうか。あ、そうそう。王様が負けるところも見たいですね。そう
ったのは失敗だったからね Straight down. What do you mean again? You can't say again. You got blocked one on one straight down versus three on one the first time. But the ball hit the ground before he did again. Yeah, fair. <laughs> fair. I don't think Hinata understands volleyball enough to understand that a one on one is bad. Oh, I, I, I guess that's fair enough. He also just thinks he can hit the ball, and if that middle's good, Reed's arm swings real well. It's just gonna be in the We're not place. at that level. We're not okay. at the level, and I'm sure everybody watching will remind you they're 14, 15. They don't look that young. Okay, got it. Got it. <laughs> I mean, you still have to read them the book. His old middle school. I'm 
れは拒絶だもうお前にはついていかないとあいつらが俺に言った一球だった影山お前もうベンチ下がれクイックつか There we go Thoughts? Unfiltered the, My first thought was I like that he was trying to problem solve where they had a big block and he needed to go faster, faster. Like, he wanted to win and he was trying to find the only solution that he could think of. But as we've seen, his execution when it comes to people is not, yeah. not, not great. Um, he ended up alienating his teammates and making it seem like it was all their fault. Yeah, instead of going with a, hey, we can do this if we speed up. He was yelling and making them feel like it was their fault. That's, I mean, again, a skill you want, your center needs to be able to problem solve, but not if nobody's willing to play for him. So he's obviously got some growing up to do. So there's your answer. And Tsukushima's very happy to rub it in his face. So Tsukushima had friends on his team. Or he like said he saw that game got or something it. at got Nationals. It. Yeah. あの決勝の末でビビってるとかてめえさっきから俺にはちゃんとトス上がるから。別に関係ない。それよりどうやってお前をポチ抜くかだけが問題だ。秋島に勝ってちゃんと部活入ってお前は正々堂々セッターをやる。そんで俺にトス上げる。それ以外になんか
No, I, I 100% agree. And, and I did not pick up on these things on the first watch through, so now I'm like... <laughs> well, I mean, you have, you have backstory of who they are by seeing them for five seasons, mm -hmm. so... What do you mean? Wait, what do you mean? To like pop up on the side of the angry guy. Well, Daichi was trying to serve it to hit oh, the thing, and then it. Hinata took it to do a selfie, and it missed his serve, so he's mad. God. Just some details. What's the score here? あそこまで正確なトスは今のところ口の悪さばっか目立っちゃってるけどやった影山すごいおいお前らクイック使えるのかクイックあ、今みたいな早い攻撃だよ全然俺ポーンって山なりに上がるトスしか撃ったことないけ
Um, and just the statement of like, everybody says that you have to be tall to play. I mean, I love that because you see it all the time. Not all the time, but even with kids, they get told, well, you can't do this or you can't do that or you should play this position or we're not going to teach you this because you're never going to do that. Mm -hmm. And it's heartbreaking because you never, you never know. You just never know who's going to be great at something. And I look at like, I mean, on the women's side, Gabi, she's not big. She's one of the best players in the world. Mm -hmm. And who is anybody to tell you what you can and can't do? I, yeah. And that, I think that's what's rubbing me the wrong way about Tsukushima, especially early on like this, is just how quick and easy it is for him to just put people down. Like he's ripping Kageyama apart and whether it's the psychology of winning that game or not or whatever, like that's, it is what it is. But then like to tell Hinata that he will never be a spiker because of his height and like he, at this moment, he is just so quick to point out everybody's deficiencies and it's like very off-putting to me. I would agree with that. I think there's a difference between, you know, and just as you see it more and you see it in more interactions, like for me, at the beginning it was gamesmanship. You walk in the gym, you're trying to throw like them mind off. Games. You, you want to win, you're... But to tell... And, but I mean, like, think about... I, if I think about going back and playing with somebody who has never played before, who jumps well, I think it's kind of innate. Like, he's clearly played a ton. He's blocking well, he's big, he's your stereotypical volleyball player, and then you come to the gym with somebody who just can't hack it. Like, I'm thinking about going to, like, grade 11 club tryouts, and you have the clique of people who have been together for three years and who are good, and then somebody new comes in. I think that's a normal dynamic. I don't agree with it. But I think it happens all the time. I don't often have like sympathy for Hinata, as you guys know, but I am, I have some right now. serve okay he has gotten hit in the face with almost every single serve that has come to him so far and he passed that and I paused at a great moment here we go dude shut up ちんちん お前の年が殺しちゃってるんじゃないの。ひなたには技術も経験もない。すごい。中学でお前にギリギリ合わせてくれた優秀なプレイヤーとは違う。でも素材は機械値。え、そんな。中学で。<笑> 
こはえっ、ー、と中菅さんっぽいとなんかうまいこと使ってやれんじゃないの俺お前と同じセッターだから去年の試合お前見てビビったよずば抜けたセンスとボールコントロールそんで何より敵ブロックの動きを冷静に見極める目と判断力俺には全部ないもんだそんなことないっすよ菅原君一回聞いとくで<笑>技術があってやる気もありすぎるぐらいあって何より周りを見る優れた目を持っているお前に仲間のことが見えないはずがない<笑>なんかうまいことってなんだ<笑>でもちゃんとボール来た<laughs> you guys, I almost cried again. This is about to be a long rewatch. What are you thinking? <sighs> I'm just thinking like the self awareness that Suga has to like. He's gonna make a really good coach. Right? The self awareness that Suga has to understand his own limitations. And to be okay articulating them, his like vulnerability, his like ability to see what is happening, and like. I get a quiet confidence. Oh my gosh, I am like hearing him talk, I'm like, this guy is amazing. And then Daichi, how many times this episode has he looked at people and been like, shh, stop talking, shh, listen. Everybody needs one of those. Like, every, he has done it at least three times this episode already. And but I think we're missing for me the best part of that was you need to maximize the pieces around you. <gasps> that like oh. if you were gonna if you were gonna give a setter one job, like everything stems from that. I love that. That oh. <sighs> okay. I'll hold it together. <laughs>
信じるなんてできるか普通だって今信じる以外の方法わかんねえもんクソ下手くそなやつお前は3年間何やってたんだこいつのあの場でも無動力も<笑>俺のトスなら生かせるよしひなたのスパイクが決まればマークが分散して田中さんも打ちやすくなるおおよっしゃ俺たちには信頼関係なんて自信もないが次もボールは俺が持っていく信じて飛べ I don't know how I feel about that What do you mean? I Okay, hold on That, sh that attack was lightning fast 100%. That connection was lightning fast. I love everything about the scene. I just don't know how realistic that is. Like, it, super fun to watch. I loved seeing it happen. I loved how excited he was. I... <laughs> Everybody was excited. No, I know. I... Every single person was like, jaws on the floor. 100%. I just, I'm having, I'm having trouble buying in. That that is possible. I don't even know what to say right now. But Adam is ruining it. <laughs> I mean, you. What? I didn't even. I don't even think I blinked twice when that happened. I was just so shocked and amazed that I was like, yeah. <laughs> And here you are being like, no, terrible, not real. You really think? Do you do you think? Who's the best sitter you know? I don't know. Bruno. Do you think you could go, Bruno, I'm just gonna run and jump and swing my arm with my eyes closed. Just find my hand. <laughs> that is what setting the middle is. Middles keep their eyes open to, to like. I can't believe we're debating this. <laughs> I want this to be real so bad. Okay. I'm I'm all for it. No, Don't middles keep their eyes open to see the block to be able to move the ball around the block. Sure, but I think on an attack, specifically a 31 attack or a distance, a speed distance attack in front of the setter. So much of it is in the setter's hands. 100% agree with you. And that is the attack that he just ran. Because think about it. As a middle, you are like, your job is to get the timing right, to be at your peak with your arm in the air when the setter is like delivering the ball. As a middle, your job is to find the timing, create the window for the, hit, the setter. The setter needs to find the window, particularly on that attack that was just run. I 100% agree with everything you're saying. You think that you could make contact with that set with your eyes closed? Maybe. <laughs> I okay, think- Okay, like, fine, I- <laughs> Fine. Uh, I, I'm just saying, I, I love what happened. I love where it's gonna go. I think it's gonna be super successful. I just, that was my opinion when I saw it. Let's keep going. You're not happy with me. I'm not unhappy with you. I feel like A, my credibility is being called into question because I bought into it so much. Yeah, but you're, again, you're... But I have been critical of certain things that have happened throughout the seasons and I feel like I was not particularly critical of this piece. That's fair. But now I'm like questioning everything. What, what does everybody else think? What? I'm curious if I have like the outlier opinion. No, it would, like I think the point that they're trying to make is just how good Kageyama is. Fair enough. I, and I agree, like all of the things they showed him doing, watching the hitter, watching the serve, watching the opponents, doing that, fighting. I just, yeah. I, we'll see what happens. If that, I want to put this to the test and I want to like film it to see if it could work. So here's, here's what I'll say. If, if that one worked, if they get the rest of the attacks to work like this for the rest of the episode, no. Okay. You could get lucky, let's not see. lucky, but like do it once. Let's see, let's, let's see what happens. 
っけ悪いうーんさっきのはマグネかなでも確実にトスの精度は上がってきてるよそうですかねうんほらひなたくそ今度はネットから話しすぎたやっぱ簡単じゃねえなコード上の全部を常に把握しとくのもしんどいしけど面白い何ニヤニヤしてんだよふざけんな I love that he thinks it's fun 理解不能さっきのはマグルだろなのに孤立に何回もでも多分 There's no creativity. I'm not going to be able to get the ball. I'm not going to be able to get the ball. I'm not going to be able to get the ball. I'm not going to be able to get the ball. I'm not going to be able to get the ball. I'm not going to be able to get the ball. I'm not going to be able to get the ball. I'm not going to be able to get the ball. I'm not going to be able to get the ball. I'm not going to be able to get the ball. もう一回もう一回丁寧にスパイカーが最大限力を発揮できるトスをレースシーどうせまたチビにあげて失敗だな田中さんだけマークしとけばこの回カフェいいか打ち抜けないならかわす I'm crying again. Oh my gosh, what is wrong with me? That is like four times in one episode. Oh no. Did you see that he opened his eyes at the end? I saw that he opened his eyes. I mean, the, the verbiage along with oh. what's happening is amazing. The view from the summit, be like around us. Uh, I got full body funny. chills. I am a big goosebump and my eye. I definitely cried like four times. Did that sequence after make you feel a little bit better? Are you still <laughs> upset? No, it, it did. I mean, I, again, I think the eyes closed is a little bit. I, I love the imagery about the eyes closed. He said, don't look at the ball, so he closed his eyes. Like, I think that that he is- He was very literal. Yeah, I think, I think that that really speaks to him as a person and how he looks at things. So I understand the importance of of that and like the insight into the character and I really like that. I just think like from a pure volleyball standpoint, I was like, eh, okay. but I like, I like that they mix, miss the next one and that he's thinking about it. And I like that they're both problem solving and working on different things. I think, so two things, one, Hinata not knowing the game doesn't put him in a box. He doesn't mm -hmm. have any expectations about how it should be played. Mm -hmm. And I think that you see that in lots of sports and with lots of athletes. And I, I think that's incredibly well done. And then you see the flip side of Tanaka, the middle. Tsukushima. Tsukushima. I, I mean, maybe I'll get it, maybe I won't. Mm, probably not. But he, he's clearly been trained from a very young age about how to play volleyball the quote unquote right way. And you can see him, he goes, this won't work. This is not how it's done. He's not, he can't do this. So his thinking and the way he sees the game is very rigid and it will lead him to be good at some things and limit him in other, in other ways. what did you think about the juke play where he did the quick attack and then went and changed directions? I liked it. No, and no. for me, the kicker is he peeked and kind of opened his eyes at the end, which is a step in the right direction. Yeah. I love, I love this. I, that, 
I feel like so much happened in like sort of a condensed there was a kind lot. of one set situation. Yeah, there was a lot. I, I there was a lot of insight into characters. Tons of character one. development. Yeah, tons really of like relationship development. Yeah. Um, and we know how I feel about good character development. It's the only thing you care about. <laughs> <laughs> so I thought that that was an excellent episode. I really liked that one too. Um, oh, I, as I said. We love like. You Are really want to know the I score. I want to know the score. I want to know who's going to win. I want to know what they're playing to. Okay, so it looked like when he got hit in the face, it was like 22-15 or something. Yeah, so they're going to lose the first set, but like, is this the best of three? Were they, the were they the 22 or were they the 15? They were losing. Oh, they were. Yeah. Okay. So I'm assuming it's two out of three then. Okay. Um, One unless set. they come back. Yeah, that's highly unlikely. Um, right. Who knows? Um, okay. Well, looks like I'll be crying a lot and I can't wait. So hit me up with your comments. We would like to hear what you think. Do you believe that Adam is right about this being very unrealistic or do you just want to believe and feel the spirit of the show like me? I think I'm going to be in the minority on this one. <laughs> um, we were obsessed. Hopefully you were too. So let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Um, we would be so excited if you would like this video and subscribe to my channel and stay tuned because episode five of Haikyuu is coming next week. Thanks guys. Bye.